Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 5 Lesson 15 homework. So let's get started. Alright, number one, draw an area model for each pair of fractions and use it to compare the two fractions by writing greater than, less than, or equal to on the line. The first two have been partially done for you. Alright, so A, we have one half and three fifths. So what I did is draw two area models, one for one half, and you can shade in one half, and one for three fifths. Now, one half and three fifths, if you want to get it to the same denominator, you can do one half times five because the denominator for three fifths is five to give you five tenths. And then 3 fifths times 2, because the denominator for 1 half is 2, which is 6 tenths. And 5 tenths is less than 6 tenths, which means 1 half is less than 3 fifths. Now, area model, 1 half, when we're, when we're um, multiplying by 5, then horizontally we can split this by 5. So now it shows 5 tenths. And the three fifths multiply by um, one half to split it in half, and then now you have three pieces out of six. I mean, no, three pieces out of ten. So let's see B, two thirds and three fourths. First, let's shade in the two thirds, and let's shade in the three fourths. So two thirds, I'm going to multiply by four because that's the denominator for three fourths. And that'll give me eight over 12. So I'm multiplying by, multiplying by four, we can also split this into fourths. Now I'll give you eight twelfths. But now three fourths times three, because that's the denominator for two thirds, that's 9 over 12. So 3 fourths, you can split it into thirds and you'll get 9 pieces over 12. 8 twelfths is less than 9 twelfths, which means 2 thirds is less than 3 fourths. Alright, C, 4 sixths and 5 eighths. I'm going to start with 6. So 4 is out of 6. And over here, it's We can shade in 5. So 4, 6. We're going to multiply by 8 because that's the denominator for the other fraction. That's 32 over 48. Now 5 eighths times 6 is 30 over 48. And the area model, when we're multiplying by um, 8, we can split it horizontally into 8. Let me give you one. And here we can split it into 6 pieces vertically. So if you count, you have 32 over 48 here and 30 over 48. Now 32 over 48 is greater than 30 over 48. So 4 6 is greater than 5 12, 5 and 5 eighths. All right, now D, 2 sevenths and 3 fifths. Right. 2 sevenths. I'm 
gonna shade in two. Three fifths. So now two sevenths, I'm going to multiply by five. So here across one, two, three, four. Now we have 10 pieces out of 35 that are shaded. And three fifths multiply by seven. That's 21 over 35. So we have 21 pieces that are shaded out of 35 total pieces. Now 10 35ths is less than 21 35ths, which means 2 7ths is less than 3 fifths. Alright, E, 4 6ths and 6 ninths. That's really uneven. Four six and now six ninths. Okay, so four six times nine. Four times nine is um. Wait, wait, no. Four times nine is thirty six. Six times nine is fifty four. Can split this two. So now I have 36 or 54. And 6 ninths, I'm going to multiply by 6 and get 36 over 54. So 36 over 54 is equal to 36 over 54, which means 4 sixths and 6 ninths are equal to each other. All right, F, we have four fifths. Four fifths. And five sixths. Now four fifths times six is twenty four over thirty, and five sixths times five is twenty five over thirty. And our error model, we can split that up to six pieces. That's twenty four over thirty, and in here into five. That's 25 over 30. Now 24 over 30 is less than 25 over 30. So that means 4 fifths is less than 5 sixths. Alright, next page. Number 2. Rename the fractions as needed. Use multiplication in order to compare each pair of fractions by writing greater than, less than, or equal to. So use multiplication. So pretty much what we did on the last page, but without the area model. Two thirds and two fourths. 
Well, we know the numerator is the same, so we can tell that two thirds is bigger because the denominator is smaller. But we're going to start work using multiplication still. Two thirds times, we're going to multiply by four because that's the denominator for the other fraction. That's eight twelfths. Now two fourths, we're not multiplying by four, we're multiplying by three this time because that's the denominator for the other fraction besides two fourths. So I give you six twelfths. Now eight twelfths is greater than six twelfths, which means two thirds is greater than two fourths. All right, B. Four sevenths and one half. Four sevenths times two is eight fourteenths. Now one half times seven is seven fourteenths. Because eight fourteenths is greater than seven fourteenths, four sevenths is greater than one half. All right, C. 5 fourths and 9 eighths. 5 fourths times 8. That's 40 over 32. And 9 eighths times 4 is 30. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. Is 36 over 32. 40 over 32 is greater than 36 over 32, which means 5 fourths is greater than 9 eighths. All right, D, 8 twelfths and 5 eighths. 8 twelfths times 8 over 8. That's 64 over 96. Now, 5 eighths times 12 over 12, that's 60 over 96. So 64 over 96 is greater than 60 over 96. So that means 8 twelfths is greater than 5 eighths. All right, now number three, use any method to compare the fractions. Record your answer using greater than, less than, or equal to. So A, we have eight ninths and two thirds. Um, let's see, so I'm just gonna do the multiplication. Two thirds. But actually, you know, actually, Eight ninths and two thirds, if you look at the denominator, you don't always have to multiply both fractions. Because if you look at the nine and the three, three times three is nine. So we don't even have to change the eight ninths. We can just convert the two thirds times three instead of multiplying by nine, and that's six ninths. So now you have the same denominator and you can compare eight ninths is greater than six ninths. So that means eight ninths is greater than two thirds. All right, B, we have four sevenths and four fifths. I'm gonna do multiplication, so times five, because this time the denominator don't have um, a common factor except like the multiple, which is 35. 20 over 35. Now 4 fifths times 7 is 28 over 35. 20 over 35 is less than 28 over 35, which means 4 sevenths is less than 4 fifths. Alright, C, 3 halves and 9 sixths. So another method we can do, three halves, first split it into the whole. So two is our denominator, which means one whole is two over two, which leaves us one half remaining. Now nine six, since six is our denominator, then six over six is our half. Cause I mean, I'm not half our whole because to make a whole, 
you need the denominator and the numerator to be the same number. That'll leave us 3 sixths remaining. Now, 1 half um, and 3 sixths. 3 sixths can be simplified to 1 half since 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So 1 half is equal to 1 half, which means these two fractions are equal to each other. Now D, 11 sevenths and 5 thirds. Um, let's see. Times 3 is 33 over 21. And 5 thirds times 7 is 35 over 21. So 33 over 21 is less than 35 over 21. So 11 sevenths is less than 5 thirds. Now number four says explain which method you prefer using to compare fractions. Provide an example using words, pictures, or numbers. So, um, I mean, I mostly all the problems are multiplication instead of the number one and i'll tell you why that's because it's sim um, more um simple to just multiply straight out instead of having to draw everything out and also really the number bond way you can um you can't really do it if it's if the fractions aren't bigger than a whole because if it's two thirds then what are you going to split it into you know so the number bond way that i did you have to make sure it's greater than the whole, so you can first separate the whole and then take the remaining fractions and compare them both. So I prefer using multiplication, but um, it might be different for you guys. You guys might prefer different methods, but just I think it's just personally what works best for you. I'll say I prefer multiplication because it's easier to just multiply and you guys will probably get a different answer than me everything at once instead of having to draw it all out. So let's get an example. Let's do three halves and six fifths. So number one way, you have to draw out everything, make a hole, one half left over, make a whole one fifth left over. And you have to like decide and separate everything. But then the multiplication way, you can just do times the other denominator. Times the other denominator. And you can just compare So three halves is greater than six fifths. So yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time, bye.